Hello, I'm Martin Thomas, and I'd like to share with you some latest research findings about what triggers an acute flare of knee pain in adults with or at risk of knee osteoarthritis. Osteoarthritis can cause joint pain, stiffness, swelling, and difficulty moving. Flares are times when these symptoms are much worse and may stop you from doing your usual activities. It's quite interesting to, to think, what is it about me or my environment or my daily living that can cause osteoarthritic pain to get worse? Uh, well, the first opportunity I know that I'm getting a flare is when I'm walking up the stairs and down the stairs. But that's the first indicator that a flare is occurring. And then usually there's a swelling around the knees as well. And then almost as quickly, after about a week, it becomes easier to walk up the stairs again. It remains a total mystery to me. People often want to know why they're getting these flares. Sometimes it might be obvious, but for many people they might be quite unpredictable. So that's what our research set out to do. Help answer the question, what triggers a flare? With the help of over 700 people aged 40 years and older with or at risk of knee osteoarthritis, our study did suggest some likely triggers. These included activity related things that people may experience more on some days than others, or changes in thoughts and feelings like low mood or feeling angry and irritable, or perhaps poor sleep or changes in weather. Although flares can happen to both men and women at any age, our study suggested these were most common in working age adults, women and people with more regular pain. On average, flares lasted between three and eight days. A challenge for patients is knowing when flares might happen. And a challenge for health professionals is being able to see patients at the time of their flares. We know when they do happen, flares can really affect daily life and we're starting to understand that helping patients recognise some of their own triggers may lead to positive change. You might be able to change the way you do certain things or making sure you don't do too many things that might cause flares too close together by planning ahead. In other conditions where we see flares such as asthma and gout, the importance of identifying and supporting quick action as a way of shortening flares or reducing their impact is more well known. We don't know fully yet if the same will be true for osteoarthritis flares, but this looks like an important direction for future research. So, we've still got lots to learn about triggers for osteoarthritis flares, and we're working on this alongside researchers in other countries. For now, Understanding what things may trigger flares may help you manage your knee symptoms whilst keeping an active lifestyle.